Why did I sell my business, Lisa Slutty Eyes? I think what's interesting is that we have this idea that when we choose a career, when we choose a business, that this is something that we're going to do for the rest of our lives. I think it's some sort of narrative that's been pushed upon us since we were young. You know, what do you want to do when you're older? And so for me, when I actually quit pharmacy to do tutoring full time back in 2015, I thought that I was going to run this tutoring business for the rest of my life. And I was completely happy with that. But what I didn't realize is that your vision for something can eventually complete itself. And so my vision for this company, Lisa Study Guides, is done. I've done absolutely everything I wanted to. I've done way more than I expected. I thought I was just going to work for myself, but I eventually hired over 100 tutors over our time with LSG and we've serviced thousands of students. My YouTube videos have had over 6 million views. And you know how there's the quarter life crisis? My quarter life crisis basically began when I was 27 all the way through to 31. So it was long and drawn out. And I really wish I had someone there who could tell me, hey, it seems like you have outgrown this business. You did start it on your own and it is very much tied to your identity and it is very much your baby, but it is okay to let go. Even though in real life, you can't actually let go of your physical, like real life born babies. But anyways. So that's why I'm gonna make more videos about this entire process of selling my business and how I got to it. So if you have any questions at all, feel free to comment and let me know.